About two years ago, I posted that video. It went viral on Instagram, I got hundreds if not thousands of reposts and overall the video got about 2.5 million views. And I wanted to share with you today how much money that I earned for that viral video and the reason why we are now more on YouTube than Instagram and because it's a millionaire video I thought it would be cool to make a riff on the millionaire cocktail. So if you guys are ready, let's do it. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining me again for this new video. Today, I wanted to tell you a little story about money. I know most of you guys are cocktail enthusiasts looking for inspiration, but I'm sure some of you also are content creators. And if you never had a viral video, I'm sure you're wondering how much money you can make out of such a thing. Well, we're gonna talk about that today. We're gonna make a delicious cocktail along the way. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you three tips that we personally use to make money as a small content creator. All right, so here's my story. First, you have to understand, we're talking about Instagram here, a platform that doesn't give any reward to its content creators. So I'm gonna drop the bomb right away. For 2.5 million views on Instagram, I received a huge zero dollars. Quite a bummer, right? Well, it was for us because let's face it, at the end of the day, we're not paying bills with likes, we're not paying rent with reposts, and if we want to create content professionally, we need a little bit of money to be able to keep on creating. And when we realized that if that video would have got 2.5 million views on YouTube, it could have got us like thousands of dollars, that's when we realized that we needed to incorporate YouTube into our daily routine of content creation. Of course you can make money out of Instagram and we made quite a fair amount of it in the past two years and it was fun, but it's not regular. You have to go get the brand deals. They don't come every month, especially when you big in, because let's face it, there's a lot of big influencers out there and the companies already have their favorites. So it's very tough to get the contracts, especially when you build the audience. But with YouTube, once you're monetized, you can start to build a regular source of income, which is fantastic. And if eventually you can start to make money with Instagram, just Think of it as a Christmas bonus. If we had to redo it all over again, we would start right away with YouTube. So before I give you my three tips to make money as a small content creator, let's make the riff on the Millionaire Cocktail. The Millionaire Cocktails is a family of cocktails that arose during Prohibition and there's two that are quite known. There's a number one which is equal part of slow gin, apricot liquor and lemon juice I believe. I tried it once, didn't like it and forgot about it. But there's the number two which is a bourbon sour with orange liquor, grenadine and absinthe and it is fantastic. So that's the one I wanted to remix today but we're gonna make a homemade blueberry grenadine instead of the regular one and we're gonna use elderflower liquor instead of the orange liqueur. So first let's make the blueberry grenadine. For the grenadine, it is very simple. All you're gonna need is high quality unsweetened blueberry juice or freshly made juice if you want, sugar, pomegranate molasse, and this is optional, but a few drops of orange blossom water is also very good in there. So in your container, you're gonna pour 200 mils of your blueberry juice and weight 200 grams of sugar. To that, you're gonna add a quarter of an ounce of pomegranate molasse and you're gonna stir until everything is dissolved. I prefer not to heat it because I don't want any evaporation, but if you're lazy, you can heat it, but very slightly because you really don't want any evaporation. So once this is done, you can add half a teaspoon of orange blossom water, bottle it up, and you're good to go. So now we're ready to make a cocktail. So we're gonna pour two ounces of bourbon in a shaker. To that, we're gonna add half an ounce of our blueberry grenadine. quarter of an ounce of elderflower liqueur. I'm using Saint Germain. And three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Now this is optional, but two dashes of saline solution works really well in that cocktail. 
And now this is a sour, so we're gonna add an egg white. And now we're gonna fill our shaker with ice and give it a very good shake for about 10 seconds. All right, so this is a sour, so we want to have a nice froth on the cocktail. So I'm gonna do a reverse dry shake. You can do a regular dry shake if you want. I know this is controversial, but reverse dry shake is a technique that works for me. But if the dry shake regular way works better for you, you do the way you want. It's not a big deal. And by the way, guys, every time I do a dry shake on this channel, I have to use two shakers because I use three pieces cobbler. It's kind of impossible to do both actions with the same shaker. I mean, it's possible, but it's complicated and messy. So at home, if you have a tin on tin, I highly recommend you use that because you can do both actions with the same shaker. So that being said, we can now fine strain our cocktail into our favorite chilled cocktail coupe. And now for the garnish, we're gonna spray a little bit of absinthe on top of the cocktail, just like that. It's gonna smell really good. And we're gonna to top it with a few dehydrated blueberries. They're lighter, so they're gonna flow perfectly on the egg white foam, just like that. And this, my friend, is how I make my riff on the millionaire. Let's give it a try. Hmm. It smells really good. You get all the beautiful notes from the absinthe, the anise is there, but there's also a lot of complexity. The wormwood, a little bit of bitterness and herbaceousness from the other botanicals. It smells really good. And it also covers the smell of the egg white. Uh, I know there's a lot of people think that egg whites are smelly, so it is a beautiful alternative for you guys if you don't like the smell of the egg white, but want still to get some sours. Uh, it's pretty cool. Now for the taste, uh, the bourbon is dominant, is a bold and refreshing drink. And the tannins from the blueberries are really cool. They are pairing perfectly with the wooden finish of the bourbon. Um, it's really nice. And there's also some floral notes in the blueberries. So they pair perfectly, obviously, with the elderflower liquor. The Saint Germain is not overwhelming. It's just perfectly balanced. And the selling solution just kind of unify all these beautiful flavors together. It is a beautiful drink. So while I sip on this cocktail, let's go with my three tips to make money while being a small creator. All right, so tip number one. It may sound lame for a lot of people, but it is very important. You have to find something that you love, something that you're good at, and something that you can add value to it. Because let's face it, the internet is big enough for everybody. But since there's a lot of competition, if you want to stand out, you have to be good at what you do. And once you found it, stick to it, because people will start to follow you for that. Tip number two, you have to diversify your sources of income. When you start creating content, you do a lot of work for not a lot of money. But if you add all the possibilities together, you can start to create something very interesting. For example, you can start to sell digital product. If you're good at photography, you can sell stock photos. If you're good at yoga, you can sell yoga classes. That added to the affiliate programs or a shop the post on your blog, to the brand deals on Instagram, and eventually the monetization program on YouTube, this can become very interesting. And last but not least, which is probably the most important tip today, you have to be consistent, and for many reasons. And one of them is because all the platforms work with algorithms, and all the algorithms ask for consistency in order to push your content forward. So if you wanna build an audience, if you wanna build trust with brands, you have to be consistent. And that means to be regular in posting, to be consistent in the quality of the content that you put out there, and also to stick to your niche. So all these things together will eventually add up to something very worth it i guarantee so that's it for me today guys thank you very much for watching i really hope you got to like this video hit the thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already hit the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video until then thank you very much again have a great day and see you very soon cheers
And we made quite a fair amount of money. We made quite a fair amount of money.